going to be talking about an uh, event. Go to the event center. It might be happening at your time. So Starry Stroll. So we're going to be talking about this very quickly. So Starry Stroll, you spend one diamond for one point. So every diamond you spend, you get one point for this area. I am already at the tier five. So right here, this little present box shows you the t target tier rewards. So all the rewards you can get for this area. So for the last tier, it's 18,085 points. So that's a lot, like roughly 18,000 diamonds you have to spend, right? Yeah. And then so far I only got like four tiers. You get random assortments of goodies for spending. So, and right here you see this bottle, just click on it. You're gonna get a couple of diamonds back. So every 11 hours you'll get diamonds back. This event has a certain amount of time frame. Right here the question mark is there. So just click that for info. Isabella is here also to explain stuff if you want to listen to Isabella. And pretty much it. If you're gonna do this event, wait. Uh, double check the calendar event for events so if you do the wishing event check if there's going to be a starry stroll coming if there's going to be a starry stroll coming you're better off collecting every single uh candle or wish depending on what it is uh collect every single candle for the quest the global events and stuff and then on the last day which is today for me that um you just spend it all you spend it all on one day if you have some item you want exclusively, you can go and spend it. Uh, your tickets for it. So, that's pretty much it for that. And there's also a blind box event that's happening right now for me at this time period where we can spend a certain amount of diamonds to get some goodies for this blind box stuff. So, you get 25 coins, so that's at least 125 for that one. So, that's a good amount of diamonds to spend if you want the blind box items. And then there's the second tier, which is roughly 1,000k diamonds for this game. So you're going to have to accept that blind boxes are very expensive, but if the story stroll is here, at least you can get something back for it. So always check the map when the story stroll is coming and see if it lines up with any event that makes you spend diamonds. If it does, you can at least get something back for spending the large amount of diamonds. That includes... Um, these calendar sets, they make you spend at least 1500 for these sales items. Right here are the three sale items. There's sometimes some free ones that you can collect stuff from, like I forgot to collect this one. So you get some free items there too. And that's pretty much it. And maybe if you're gonna help your friends out, like let's see if any of my friends need me to buy stuff from them, from their closet. Right here, I can buy this stuff up here. Go. They can have some of my diamonds while I go to the event center, go to Starry Stroll, I spend some diamonds, and I got some stuff back for spending all that diamond. So click all, and it'll tell you how much rewards you got. So you get something back for helping your friend. So that's pretty a good deal. Well, not a very good deal, but if you're going to help your friends out, might as well do it when you can get stuff back for spending it. So that's pretty much it. Also, if you go to Parvin, there is a item blueprints if you want to buy your blueprints do it while it's starry stroll or wait until etp comes or traveler or spiller or ts for short um you can buy your uh, blueprints during this time period or you can buy some feature boxes to replenish some items you need because some of these items are like four thousand one thousand seven thousand eight hundred and more so that area can make you get some stuff if you want to do the starry stroll stroll starry stroll stuff or if you're going to do like the mini games, you can spend stuff here. It's usually roughly 30 diamonds you spend. So if you're going to try to chase after the frames or um, P uh, icon, avatar icon stuff, you can do that while the starry stroll is going on. You want to at least do it when you can get something back. There's this purple box stuff. You can spend 99 diamonds and you can get some goodies here. So those are some goodies. Sometimes they have these purple boxes. Sometimes they don't. Just keep an eye, your, an eye out on them. Also, another event that you can spend diamonds on now is the Time Alter Shop right here. It's next to Jerry. Go to Classic Styles. They are now officially selling blueprints here. So let's check out what they look like. Right now, it's two items. You have roughly 10 days still to collect them or buy them. So th you get this cute top and these pearl jeans. You can also buy them. They're both different prices, as you can tell. So if you're going to buy blueprints from this area, uh, you can go ahead and do that. You can also uh, check out the items before buying them. Some people like this, some people don't. Some people don't like it because of this area. Or you can just get the top only. I'll show you the top. 
Okay, I gotta say, if this was a real life clothing, I wouldn't buy it because those beads are gonna make you not be able to sit behind your seat properly. Because it's gonna be stabbing you in the back, so that's it. You can also check out the tags they have. So they're coolie perky items. And that's pretty much everything you can buy with diamonds for this shop right now. Uh, that depends if the uh, the cart thing doesn't come. The cart thing might have a diamond blueprint, but that depends if you don't own it already. So make sure that's there. And that's pretty much it for any diamond spending. So you can also spend diamonds, if you want, on making sets. So let's go to the crafting area. So we're going to the crafting area. Click over here. So you want to craft an item, but you're short some, some stuff. You can click on the item you're short on and just buy everything for a certain amount of diamonds. So it costs 140 diamonds for 14 hats. And same thing for the other item I need. I need 160. You can just buy it right away. Or you can go to your encounters or you can go to the parvin shop to buy the items. If you go to the parvin shop, it's just gold coins. It's better. But that's if you're wanting to spend diamonds only. I'm trying to figure out where else you can buy, uh, spend diamonds. And I think that's pretty much everywhere you can use diamonds for. Besides speeding up your cats. Yeah, speeding up your cats will probably be the only other way. To do this. Let's click depart. Depart. And then speed up. You can spend diamonds. Well, this one didn't need to spend diamonds. But you can spend diamonds for speeding up your cat. Or uh, making them speed up their little kid making. Or their um, resting area. So that's all the places you can. I can recall. No, I lied. You can also spend diamonds on the quail, qu uh, quest wall right here. Certain amount of different amount of diamonds. And I am officially sure that's everywhere you can spend diamonds on. So that's pretty much it. And good luck with the starry stroll. Sometimes you need to wait for the events to line up before doing this event. So that's it. Thanks for watching.